Hey guys, Tech with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone calculator if it is not working or not responding or you simply can't do any calculation. Now, there's a couple of reasons why the calculator may not be working on your iPhone and you can fix this. So let's dive into the fixes. So the very first fix might be as simple as just closing up the app and reopening it. And from time to time, your calculator might freeze up or might not be working. Simply slide your phone up just like this and you're gonna slide up the calculator app. And if you have other apps, I would probably recommend just closing all of them out as well. And then go ahead and reopen the calculator app and hopefully it is working for you. Now, that is a quick and easiest way to fix a calculator not working. But now let's say it's still having issues where you can't, uh, the calculator isn't working or not functioning as it should. You need to do a forced restart of your iPhone. In order to do that, you're going to press the volume up and then volume down one after another. So up and then down. And then you're going to hold the side button on the right hand side here till the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappear and then you'll let go of that button. So in real time, volume up, volume down. And then I hold the side button on my right hand side and it's going to slide to power up, but I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to keep on holding that side button just like that till I see the screen go completely black and the Apple logo reappear. If Siri activates, you didn't press volume up and then down quick enough. So try again and then let go when you see the Apple logo. And all this is doing is reloading the phone's code, give it a nice fresh reboot. And if there was any software related issue impacting your phone's calculator, not working correctly, this will resolve that issue. Again, this method will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. So it's completely safe to do and it's recommended whenever you're having any sort of software related issue. Now, after you have done that and the calculator app, it still is not working for you. It's time to go ahead and delete the calculator app and reinstall it. In order to do that is you simply press and hold and then you click on remove app and then you click on delete app and it'll say deleting this app and its data. We're going to click on delete and it's gone. And then we're going to reinstall it by going to the app store. And then you're going to search for in the search, click on the search option here. And this time we're going to search for calculator, right? So it should be the very first one that comes up and make sure it's the utilities calculator, the right one, the Apple default one, not any, there's a bunch of other calculator, but I recommend it to install this one, which again is from Apple and we'll click on that cloud icon just like that. And it should install for us and we'll be able to locate it to maybe over here where you can add to the home screen and our calculator should be right there again and hopefully it is working for you. Now, if it's still not working and you reinstalled it again, it's time to go ahead and to your settings here and then going into your general and then look for software update. If there is a software update, you wanna go ahead and download and install the new update because a previous update might have caused the issue. If your phone is up to date like this, you'll be good to go. But let's say if you need to do an update, it's gonna look something like this where you go into your settings general software update check for update it'll say download and install if you have that you need to update your phone software in order to do that make sure you're connected to a good wi-fi and your phone is at least 50 percent or more or connected to a power source you're going to click on download and install and it should update your phone to the latest version and fixing any issues that you're having with the calculator now moving on to the very last thing you can do if it's still having issues after updating the phone simply going to your settings and then this time you're gonna to go to general all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone and then click on the first option for reset and the reset you're gonna to wanna to do is the first one where reset all settings. Now reset all settings does not delete your personal data like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. What it does reset is things around the settings of like network settings. So if you have saved Wi-Fi password, Bluetooth connection devices, those are all gonna get reset again and you'll have to reconnect again. If you had any special uh, keyboard dictionary, those are going to get reset. Home screen layout. So if you had custom home screen layout, those are going to reset as well. And any setting around location and privacy also get re reset. But it's important to do that. Again, if you're still having issues with the calculator not working on your iPhone. And that's about it, about fixing the calculator. Hopefully it is working now for you. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. And if you find a better way to fix it as well, I'll make sure to leave a comment in the comment section to help everyone else. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.